when I look at the eyes closed EEG on somebody that has PTSD, the biomarker that stands out, not in the eyes open where lambda happens, but with the eyes closed, is the right temporoparietal junction. You can see the size of the alpha over here. Uh, it rivals the O1, in fact, it beats O1 even. Um, uh, this is the location in the brain that uh, observes facial expressions and body language and the emotional tone of speech. So uh, uh, if this is essentially idled, it's like closing your eyes, making alpha at the back of the head. This is the emotional uh, uh, area being insensitive. And if we train the person to control this and drop this down and gently activate this location, they basically open up their emotional eyes. You know, if, if you've got one of these, you know, if you're blind, you carry a red and white cane and you tap in front of yourself and people know you're blind. We, we don't hand out orange canes or pink canes or something for people that are affectively blind, but that, you know, this is functionally not somebody who's going to end up having a lot of good insight and things like that. Again, if we fix this, at that point, the therapist has uh, the rapid progression because this area now is working. But it also, you know, right now, not perceiving is, is a state that they're in. If you suddenly turn this on, what they start doing is misperceiving. They'll perceive, but they don't have any basis to understand what they're perceiving. So the therapist has a lot of grist for the therapeutic mill once you open up the perceptual eyes and, and, and perception happens. Very much like a cochlear implant uh, where they suddenly can hear. Everybody's happy that little Johnny can hear mom uh, say, I love you. And th that's great. But pretty quickly, little Johnny tries to turn the damn thing off because of all the noise. Well, it's not noise. It's the richness of the auditory environment. And you have to leave that implant on in order to learn what you're hearing. So very much the same way. As soon as you open up the emotional eyes, you, you end up having to learn what it is you're perceiving. Anyway, this biomarker is a major uh, feature. Uh, when you see this, you can predict that the individual has social perceptual problems. It could be PTSD, could be social anxiety, uh, could be reactive attachment disorder. Uh, you know, the, the DSM categorizations end up having the commonality of, I can't see affective stuff. And when that's there, the symptom that cuts across the DSM is present.